Nothing like family, like your dad beating people up. Nothing like domestic abuse, right? Or we're family. What the hell was that episode about? That dude was so weird, trying to like beat the shit out of kids and trying to make like them feel fear so they'll obey and they'll train. It's some weird shit, but Karasuma Clutch and Nagisa Clutch. Nagisa finally shows more of like the hidden potential that was showcased in the earlier part of the season, along with the earlier part of last episode. Serpent Aura, bro has just no bloodlust. He's like a blank template, but he does not hesitate. That's what makes him so lethal. Potential to be an assassin is crazy. His backstory is probably going to be insane too. Let's begin today's reaction. Summertime still. Pool episode? No? Koro-sensei's face is the cocky face. Yeah, Karma was conveniently MIA. みんなも毎日のように何かしら試みているには未だ決定的な暗殺ができている。It is a pool episode, kind of. Outdoor swimming episode. He made the pool. Damn. こういうことしてくれるから、うちの先生は。I'm surprised they gave Nagisa such a boy swim trunks. I thought they gave him like girl outfit like this. Okajima, oh, bro, what the fuck you doing in here in the pool with the fucking camera, bro? Don't worry, Kaede. Don't worry. I can appreciate what you got down there. Kayano. You get chat, Okajima. <laughs> Did they actually never know? The girls actually didn't know this shit? Yeah! You can save him at Mach 20. Jesus Sensei, okay, okay! Yeah, yeah, this is actually not good. This, this, this is weird. Okazima, what the fuck are you doing in here with the camera? Hazama low-key kinda cool. Bro is spamming that whistle. <laughs> Super strict about pool rules. What a random rule. What was that? What the fuck? What was that? Kia. He's weak to water. He's very weak to water. <laughs> Yeah, he is very afraid of water. Let's drown him. Let's drown his ass. It's so that he doesn't drown. What? Really? It looked like one of those, you know, things that keeps you afloat in the swimming pool. I thought she, she just holding on to this because he, he didn't want to drown even literally as a lifeguard. I keep that shit underwater and then it would like skyrocket up and it was really fun. What was that, Terasaka? Is it going to be his episode? Terasaka just hates being part of the club, man. He hates just socializing, so I wonder when they're going to develop him. <laughs> episode 14. Vision time? How dare you be happy that your scores went up? You dare be good at school, you fucking loser? Did they have like a pact to never get better? Huh. You just fine with being a loser? They made a pact. Traitor? It's kind of loser mindset, man. It doesn't set will with you because everyone has accepted Sensei and they're moving on and developing to be better people. And you feel left out. And your ego and pride will not allow you to join them, so you're gonna feel like they're traitors and you're the good person. <laughs> oh shit, the motorcycle looks sick. Alright. Man among men. I feel like motorcycles are like the symbol of a midlife crisis. Most people, if you look at like the, every, like the average demographic of who you, you rides this shit, it's a bunch of old motherfuckers that are divorced. It is. It's just a bunch of divorced dads 
having a midlife crisis or a bunch of dads having a midlife crisis and wanting to try something new as they realize that they're getting older and they need like new hobbies to make them feel like they're still like hip and young. There's some young people with motorcycles, but if you look at the overall demographic, it's just a bunch of boomers. <laughs> true. <laughs> and that is true. Hey! What is he crying? Man amongst men. Bruh. No, not sensei. I mean, he is a monster that's gonna destroy the world. He's not wrong about that. But we also know Koro Sensei is not like that by now. True. True. Oh, you're starting something! Ooh. He ain't got shit on karma. I see only one loser in the room. How is Sensei gonna reach out to Terasaka? What the fuck? Yo, is he pouring gas? Is he just pouring gasoline into the water? I think he is. Oh, hey, sorry, sorry. I thought it was the principal for a second. I, 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 the voice was deep, and I'm like, wait, is this the principal? No, no, no. It's, it's the other dude that's like a uh, part of the different org that has like Koro Sensei's quote unquote brother. They're paying him 100,000 yen to fucking pour gasoline into the water? Hi. You're the traitor, bro. He is literally the traitor. I mean, Itona is a monster, too. Do you want to return to E class back to where before he came when shit was just bad and terrible? Like, everyone's life is better because of Koro Sensei showed up. And you want to return to Monkey? He's a dumbass. Of course he's dumb. I mean, I mean, I, I mean that's a lot of money. 100,000 yen for a high school student at this age? That's, that's a, lot, a, lot, a lot of money. But like, bro, you're the fucking traitor right now. And this is also a monster, man. Ooh. Damn, you gotta really say it to him. Straight up. Title drop mentioned. Damn. Wolf with the cow killing vision. The slow witted cow versus the wolf. <laughs> now, did Itunai's design change a bit? I can't tell. Did he always have this hair up here? He did he does seem different, right? What about his personality? Is it more like reasonable? Like it feels like there has been change since the last episode that we saw him. <laughs> Ew, that's how you cry? It's a motorcycle still? Oh, ew, your snot is yellow? Okay, anyways, his nostrils is right beside his eyes, didn't know that. I mean, no, we did know that! There was the, there was the episode where, like, I don't think Sensei has nose, and then it was, yeah, no, no, it was over there. No, no, we did know this before. Allergies? Ew, 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 ew! Okay, that's kind of slimy and weird. Ah, uh, it is actually allergies! We're nerfing him! Why would I show up to my weakness? True. <laughs> Terasaka is gonna get corrected, man. He talking shit. Even his boys are suspicious. Everyone says no. And Sensei is like, yep, let's go, guys. Huh? <laughs> I 
You're literally projecting again because you heard Itsunai call you out for saying no vision. He has no self confidence. Literally, he's just copying other people's words. Terasaka is nothing but a weak willed idiot that thinks he's special. How do we correct him? Pretty much. <laughs> How are you gonna push him in? I guess his senses are dulled, right? Flare. Okay. I bet today's episode will end with Terasaka somehow being corrected as he realizes that Koro Sensei does care and he'll. He won't call him, you know, monster anymore. He'll call him like Koro Sensei. Okay. You're the cocky one. Flare? It was not a flare. It was a fucking detonation. It was a detonation to lure Sensei to go into the water to give him a reason because the kids are gonna get sacrificed. Good job, Terasaka. God, Terasaka is pissing me off, dude. Karma conveniently out of the water. I love how Karma is always just like different. He's always doing something else. Ooh. But it's like, right, the closer in contact you have with water, right, the more like you swell up, right? Plus, he's nerfed right now due to the allergies, plus something else. That's what the allergy was for. Karma's still up though. Oh, shut up, pussy. You did this. Fuck you. Of course not. He's a tool. No vision. What an absolute fucking coward, bro. Talking all that shit, getting all fucking scared as you realize that this is all his fault, bro. Nice! Deserves that and more. Point it at yourself! Absolute losers, man. Always talking that big shit. Then the moment they have to have some sort of accountability or ownership, it's someone else, it's not my fault. I didn't mean to do this, pussy. All right, here we go. That's been a couple episodes. And the water special too. Yeah. I mean, let's see who's stronger is kind of stupid because every time it's just cheating. Like this is never an actual fair match. This is not about who's stronger. You literally get all the prep time and all the advantages in both matches, and Koro Sensei still comes out on top. How could you possibly say this is about who's stronger? C congratulations on fucking backstabbing again. You are weak. It's because you're weak you do this. You have such an insecurity power complex. You feel the need to put other people down because you perceive yourself as weak. And if you do this, then maybe you'll look strong to everyone else, right? You don't even believe in this shit. No. A monkey threatening a human. They ain't wrong, bro. I'm on the other people's side right now. Terasaka fucking sucks. You're a monkey, dude. What are you doing? That is, that's actually pretty satisfying. I don't feel sad about this backstory at all. Karma's backstory is very sad as he realizes that the teachers that he thought were teachers were actually not teachers, right? They're dead to him, right? Terasaka, nah. 
You're a fucking idiot. You're an absolute goober, dude. What are you doing here? Trying to be act like a delinquent when everyone's here? Classroom the elite fucking studying their asses off? Fuck off. I'm still on his side. Terasaka just fucking sucks right now. When he gets a redemption, sure, I'll be there to glaze. But right now, dude, this guy sucks. I hope he gets a couple stones, you know, thrown at him. Good, good. Learn a fucking lesson. Oh, that's his boss in the future. Terasaka Kum, what is this? Is he tossing on his resume here? What's going on? That's him. He's the CEO now. That was, that was the guy getting bullied. Ooh, shouldn't have bullied me back in high school. Mm-hmm. The self-awareness is very uh, spot on, though. He's very aware, though. Terasaka's redemption should be somehow saving Koro-sensei here. I don't know what he'll do, but if he gets involved here and saves Koro-sensei, then he can redeem himself. Hey, he got an upgrade. They optimized him. What, what about the temper, though? Personality. Put shit in the water. Token Chubster. Hara. Her name is Hara? That's funny. Because in Dangers in My Heart, the token, the token Chubster in that show was also named Hara. Looks like Hara is just a default name for chubby girls, huh? Okay, I get it. You don't have to repeat it again. She's pretty heavy and fat, guys. Token Chubster. Uh-oh. What the fuck is she doing there, by the way? Who put her there? Are you proud of that? Why are you talking so confidently? Okay. All right, let him cook. All right, Terasaka has reduced him down to just a fucking tool. He'll be the bronze. He's like, just use me, karma. Alright. Let's see it. What the fuck? Let's see the redemption. You're gonna die. That's gonna drop, bro. That, that brand, bro. Okay. He's holding. And now what? Allergy. It should work on him too. Smart karma. Alright, Chubster save. Karma's plan, man. Water. Get him wet. That's right. Get that boy wet. They'll retreat. Karma completely outplayed. <laughs> Fucking Okajima, we look at them, he's splashing water out of his mouth, bro. Okajima built different. Hydro pump, go. It, it would defeat the purpose. Anti-matter organs. More lore. But it's not really lore. Who the fuck knows what this means? But he has anti-matter organs. When you think about antimatter, that's some weird pseudoscience shit going on with like physics, right? But no, that's like dark matter. I don't really know. But uh, antimatter. Also, still a repeating theme is Mr. Shiro and how he hides his face. I, I think that we can definitely observe right now is his little beady eyes that, you know, Koro sensei always also has. I still expect that Shiro has also gone through that experimentation and perhaps his face has been disfigured. And he is like the in between between Koro Sensei being like the alpha test. Maybe Shiro is the beta test, and Itonai is like 
you know, the true finished product because he just looks more humanoid than everyone else. And this guy is hiding like an octopus like face under that veil. <laughs> Slowly but surely, I think that uh, Mitona is getting a little bit closer to maybe joining the class and, you know, hanging out with the kids. He's still a, a, a tool by Shiro, but something about him is changing. Definitely. <laughs> Chubster. Is this the shit, bro? Is this the shit between Terasaka and the token Chepster Hara? I'm not sure. That is a good point that Shiro has anti-matter clothing guards, but you could seem... Here's a couple other theories, right? Like, sure, it's anti-matter guard, and intuitively you would think that if you were inside, it would damage you too. But what if he's actually a different type, right? Koro-sensei and Hemen are clearly not the same. There may be different types. Uh, also, the inside clothing may be a different property compared to outside clothing, right? There's a lot of different mental gymnastics to kind of like figure out what could be going on, but there's clearly a distinction in his eyes. Chubster. <laughs> she's not even fat. Like, she's not even fat. Straight up. Like, you don't see any of the chubs, bro. She, she's a healthy weight. <laughs> This is the ship, man. Terasaka has one, two, three, four, five. Bro, Terasaka has a 10 pack. What the fuck? Dude, he sh this is a 10 pack ab. You see this shit? One, two, three, four, five rows. Oh! Looks like Terasaka has been redeemed. Yeah, splashy, splashy. Yeah. What? Bigger than water, Koro-sensei is the greatest weak point of all. We didn't really show it. We're pretty happy about it. We all overlooked it. Something is very important here. We all overlooked it. Koro-sensei's greatest weak point is his students and his worry for them, right? Is that this or is there something else they're hiding? Like, intuitively, you could just think, we already know Koro-sensei cares a lot about his students. If you put his students in danger, he'll put himself in danger. But we all overlooked it. We didn't show it, but we're happy about that. But we overlooked it is very abstract and ambiguous. Bigger than water, greatest weak point of all. They're making it seem like there's something completely separate that we have never seen before. But to me, this feels like if you put the kids in danger, then Koro-sensei will of course, put himself in danger. That's pretty much today's episode. Today's episode was pool episode, kind of, right? Koro-sensei like built the pool. We already know that he has a weakness to water. If he has mucus though, right? If he has the mucus, uh, the water, he, he, he doesn't really get like countered by it. But if you make him allergic and all the mucus runs out, then you add some like substance into the water to make him even like more weaker. That's how Shiro fights, right? They're always trying to set up Koro-sensei in the weakest part so that Ituna can come up and do the most fraudulent battle and then they'll say, see, I'm stronger. How the fuck are you stronger? Fight him fucking man-to-man -man 1v1, bro, without any prep time or else this is never gonna be an actual fight to see who's stronger. It's funny to see the other girl say, Nagisa, you're a girl? What the fuck? Karma popped off and Terasaka? I honestly don't really like him at all. <laughs> I don't care about him, really. He's just a fucking idiot. He got corrected. Sure, he has the awareness, and now he's just a tool that we're gonna use because he has no fucking brains. Part of me still fucking hates him, but hey, I mean, everyone's gonna have a little bit of development. Maybe he'll, you know, herb off the uh, right way later on as he... Maybe he there's like a great moment where he sacrifices himself for the classmates, but that's pretty much today's episode. If you're still here, if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for even more content. And until next time, take care.